Shells fired from a rod and cannon reverberate across the Senelaga ranges. More than seven months ago, the pandemic silenced British guns here. Now, warrior infantry fighting vehicles, idle since March, are back in action. Leading the army's return to training here is 1st Battalion, the Mercian Regiment. They're earmarked for an operational deployment next year. It's a great opportunity for us to practice not just on our vehicles and on all the ranges here, but also the deployment of the unit onto the continent, which obviously, as far as our readiness uh, profile is concerned, that's really important for us to practice. But COVID-19 hasn't disappeared. To reduce risk, 400 soldiers must live and work in self-contained groups. We're managing to pretty strictly control the predominantly platoons as households because that's where the troops are living together, they're eating together and they're out here training together in those small units as well. So that's relatively easy when you've got a good command structure above that size grouping and we can move them around in those sorts of groupings as well. We have to sanitise the vehicles down, we have to ensure that the you know, with the space and the distances when, when possible uh, are adhered to. Coronavirus has inevitably made planning overseas exercises more difficult. Some soldiers had only two weeks to prepare to go to Germany. A lot of the new lads, lads that have never been abroad before, it's quite daunting for them as it's their first time away. A lot of them at the start were sort of a bit down, but once they got here, got into their routine, it's like they sort of picked themselves back up and it's quite exciting for them being away from home for the first time in a foreign country. Senelaga's appeal, say the Mercians, is its variety of training possibilities. We've got Castle Martin back home, but I, I think the ranges are a bit bigger here and we, we can go further up so we can get to, if we have time, we can get up to company integrated, but you can't really do that in Castle Martin because it's not big enough. It's a lot more demanding um, being dismount wise because of um, the length of the ranges and what we're actually doing, but um, I've been enjoying it very much and it's, it's a lot more things we can do. That's music to the ears of Colonel Tim Hill, the British Army's commander in Germany. Senlog training area has been really important for us for a number of decades now and we've seen a significant amount of training for sort of conventional war for air training uh, during those Cold War years and of course we use this place for training for Northern Ireland, uh, for the Balkans and also more recently for Iraq and Afghanistan. And I think that sort of focus on training for operations will continue for now and for the foreseeable future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.